Hello guys, this is Attorney Bromley and uh, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so sa mga nakaraang videos po, um, discuss natin yung termination of employment by the employer. Na-discuss natin yung just causes, ito yung natanggal ka sa trabaho dahil sa kasalanan mo or dahil, dahil sa negligence mo. Or authorized causes, ito yung may uh, nagbawas ang kumpanya ng empleyado to prevent losses, ganun. So, um, termination by the employer. Ngayon naman po. Is there another way to terminate uh, the employment? Yes. Termination of the employment by the employee. So, this time, ang mag-terminate po ng employment ay si empleyado. Okay? Um... Terminate niya yung kanyang employment with the management. So, how? It is done by resignation. So, under the law, resignation is one way of terminating uh, employment but by the employee. Okay. Um, under the labor code, meron po tayong notice requirement. Alright? Meron tayong, kailangan natin mag-submit ng resignation Uh, which will take effect days after uh, notice. I mean, uh, kapag ka gusto mong mag-resign, 30 days uh, yung kailangang notice, period of notice under the law to give the management sufficient time para makahanap ng kapalit mo to prevent disruption of work and also para makapag turn over properly doon sa Um, replacement mo as an employee. Alright? So, 30 day notice. Yan po ang kailangan. Ngayon, kung hindi mo sinunod yung 30 day notice, ano ang sabi ng labor code? Well, under Article 285 of the labor, labor code, liable ka po to, to uh, pay damages sa employer. Alright? So, kadalasan, kung mapapansin ninyo, Uh, kapag ka pumirma kayo ng employment contract, sa bandang dulo, nakalagay doon ng um, um, failure to satisfy the notice requirement in case of resignation, the employee will be held liable for damages in the amount of. Okay. Minsan, yung amount nakadepende sa kung ano ang position ng employee. The higher the rank or position, the higher, the higher then, syempre yung uh, damages na babayaran ni employee in case of immediate resignation. Alright? So, ayun. Allowed ba under the law na um, yung tinatawag nating immediate resignation? Yes. Pero, there are certain conditions. So, may pwede notice, di ba, ang requirement uh, ng labor code ngayon po. Pwede natin hindi sundin ang 30-day notice kung uh, meron itong mga condition na to. Number one, um, serious insult by the employer to the employee. Okay? The honor and person of the employee. So, kung ininsult ka, Um, ng employer mo, po pwedeng uh, mag-resign ka effective immediately. Alright? Number two, inhuman or unbearable treatment by the employer. Okay? And um, another one, kapag nakagawa ng uh, crime yung iyong employer, against you or yung immediate family members mo. And lastly, other similar cases. So, yung mga halintulad na sitwasyon. Okay. Under the law, inaalaw yan na hindi ka na um, magbigay ng 30-day notice sa iyong employer. So, yung resignation mo will be effective immediately and wala kang babayarang damages. Alright? So, yung damages under the, under the labor code, allowed yun ha? Allowed ng labor code na mag-impose si employer ng damages 
the case of your failure to submit 30-day notice para sa iyong resignation. Allowed po yan under the Labor Code. Ngayon, um, what is the meaning of resignation? Uh, papaano ba define yung resignation? Uh, under the case uh, with DR number 191460, resignation is the voluntary act of an employee to dissociate oneself from employment. So, voluntary act ang resignation. Meron tayong naririnig, no? Ito, maraming makakarelate dito. Lagi nating naririnig yung forced resignation. Under the law, meron po bang forced resignation? Okay. Well, um, dahil dinefine ng uh, labor case yung resignation as a voluntary act, paano po ang treatment ngayon ng forced resignation? Well, ang forced resignation po na hindi voluntary or involuntarily made by the employee because of the pressure coming from the management is equivalent to constructive legal dismissal. Okay, so... Sa mga nakaraang videos po, na-discuss natin na mayroong dalawang klase ng dismissal, tama? Actual, illegal dismissal. Ito yung bibigyan ka ng um, termination notice na tinatanggal ka na. Ayun yung actual, illegal dismissal. Meron din po tayong constructive, illegal dismissal. Ito yung hindi ka tinatanggal, pero yung action ng management against it's equivalent sa pagtanggal sa iyo o sa kagustuhan niyang tanggalin ka. Okay? So, malinaw po, ang resignation under the labor case is voluntary now. If there is um, forced resignation or if the resignation becomes involuntary because of the pressure coming from the management, then it becomes constructive illegal dismissal. So, pwede nyo pong i-question sa dole and pagdating nyo sa dole, kapag sinabi nyo um, nagawan po ako ng or, or yung dismissal ko po is pasok sa constructive illegal dismissal, tino uli ang magbibigay ng ebidensya sa employer po, hindi kayo. Alright? Hindi ang employee. Alright? So, kapag ka nag-resign ka ba, may makukuha kang separation pay. Halimbawa, 25 years ka na sa serbisyo or 40 years ka na sa kumpanya. You have worked all your life um, doon sa kumpanya. Kapag ka po voluntary resignation, wala po kayong makukuha separation pay. Pero, okay, tingnan nyo, baka sa inyong collect bargaining agreement sa CBA po, ito po pa sa mga kumpanyang may union, meron kayong provision doon na kapag ka nag-resign ka sa ganitong and then meron kang ganitong years of service, meron kang makukuwang separation pay. Tignan po ninyo iyon. Okay? Sa inyong CBA. So, kung meron pong nakalagay na gano'n, entitled ka sa separation pay kahit na nag-resign ka. Okay? Ngayon, kung wala kayong CBA, tignan nyo po yung inyong company policy. Baka sa company policy ninyo, matatagpuan doon na upon resignation, the employee is entitled sa separation pay. Okay? So, tignan nyo po yung dalawang yon. So, generally, under the law, kapag ka voluntary resignation, hindi ka makakakuha ng separation pay. Except, kung merong... Um, provision yung inyong CBA or yung inyong company policy. Alright? So, ayun lamang po. Please check out my Facebook page, Attorney Promdi. Pwede nyo po akong i-message doon for questions or inquiries. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Attorney Promdi, for more legal uh, discussions. 
hope you enjoyed watching and thank you.